Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about multiplying polynomials, and we have here uh, two polynomials. Uh, they're actually trinomials, and they're both the same. So this came from a question that uh, read as x squared minus 4x plus 6, the quantity squared. Well, when you write the quantity squared, you're basically writing the whole thing itself twice. And then I show here with the yellow, you distribute this term here three times to each and every one of these terms inside of here. Then you do the same thing with the 4x, and you do the same thing with the 6. All right, so let's do the first term here. So you have um, x squared, so that's going to be x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Um, and real quick, I'm not multiplying the two, the little, the twos, the squares. I'm actually adding them because it follows this rule. P to the m times p to the m is equal to p to the n plus m. Okay, that's a rule of exponents with like bases. So if uh, when you have these are the bases right here, the p's, and so when they're the same you add exponents. Same base, add the exponents. Okay, so we have x to the fourth times negative 4x, that's negative 4x cubed. x to the fourth times 6 is, or x squared times 6 is a positive 6x squared. And then you do the same thing with the 4x here. So negative 4x times x squared is, I'm going to put this down in the uh, x cubed column, because my answer is 4x cubed. And 4x and negative, negative 4x and negative 4x is positive 16x squared. And the 6 times, I'm sorry, then the 4x times the 6 is going to give me a negative 24x. And it just works out that they happen to have the same uh, exponent here, and so I put everything in these columns. I'll do another example later on where they don't, but for right now, let's finish this one up. So we'll have 6x squared. So I'll go here, 6x squared. This will be negative 24x, and this will be a positive 36. Okay, so when we add across, add going down, we'll have x to the fourth negative 8x cubed plus 38x squared minus 48x plus 36. And that's going to be a final answer. OK, let's do another problem. Um, let me give you a general, let me just generalize the uh, process by giving your problem looks like this a plus b plus c times d plus e plus f. Okay, that's a plus sign. So what you're going to do is do the same thing. You distribute this to here, that to here, and this to here. And you do the same with these. And uh, do a different color here. Then the c goes here, here, and here. Okay. So your answer will look like this. A, D, and A times E is A, E, and A times F is A, F, where A, B, and C, D, E, and F are all uh, different terms. So each one could be like, instead of A, it could be like 3x squared, B could be like 4x, and C could be a 5 or something. So um, let's finish up here. So you have B times D, which will be B, D then b times e, which will be be, and b times f, which will be plus bf. Then you have the c's. You'll have cd plus ce plus cf. And that would be, um, this would be a general uh, form to all uh, polynomials you uh, well, at least trinomials for now. It could be more. It could be a plus b plus c plus d plus e plus f times, or just the whole thing squared. In which, in in which case, you'll have a bunch of these um, these terms here. You'll you have a huge problem. Okay, so let's see. I think we have time for one more problem. One more problem. 
Okay, so let's try this one out. How about something like x squared plus y plus 1 times 2x squared plus 3y plus 5. Okay, first term is going to be x squared times 2x squared is 2x to the fourth. x squared, okay, let's do this. Next one is going to be plus 3x squared y. And the last one's going to be plus 5x squared. Now the y's. 2x two times 2x squared times y is going to be uh, 2x squared y. So let's put this here. And it fits here in this column. 2x squared y. Then y times 3y is 3y squared. I don't have a 3y squared, so I'm going to make a column that's called 3. That has 3y squared in it. And y times 5 is plus 5y because I don't have a column that has it in it. So, so now we're going to do 1. Well, 1 is easy. 1 times this whole trinomial here is just a trinomial. We just have to figure out where these different terms will fit down here. So 2x squared. Um, I got a 5x squared, so I'll put it in this column here. So 2x squared. Uh, 3y. I got a 5 here, so let's put it in here plus 3y, and uh, 5 times 1 is 5. Uh, I don't have a constant column, so we'll put it here, 5. Okay, so let's add going down. You'll get 2x to the fourth, plus 3 and 2 is 5x squared y, plus 5 and 2 is 7x squared, plus 3y squared, plus 5 and 3 is 8y, plus bring down the constant 5. And this would be a final answer. I would suggest going through and looking problems up in your book and actually working them out. Do the even problems too. Don't just settle for looking at the answers in the back of the book for the odd ones only. And you can make up your own problems too, um, like I do here. This one I just made up and it just it works out. It's a good problem to uh, to practice with. Some of them won't be quite this simple where they have the terms uh, lining up. You'll get somewhere. It's just like the previous problem, the second one we did, where it's just a big, a big series of uh, terms. So, alright, well, good luck.